Six month old blue now. She don't really waste no time on no food. Right now she probably about 50, 60 pounds. I expect her to get up closer to 70, 80, or even 100. So, like I said, six month old, she ain't wasting no time on this food right here. What I got, I got like uh, probably about four cups of uh, kibble. And then I got this, uh, right now it's probably a third of this uh, chopped pedigree. And then I got one egg. So yeah, that's what I'm mixing up right now. I just gotta mix it up real good so it can all be wet and all mixed together, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing right here. And we're just gonna see how long she, it takes to her to eat this shit. But uh, for the most part, I expect her to eat all this shit in probably in about two minutes. Probably less than that. I don't know. I give her about up to five, six minutes to tear it all up. So we're just going to sit on here. This is, I mean, if y'all having problems with your dog eating and gaining weight, this is what I do. I don't have no proteins or nothing to it. But I do mix. This is every day. This is what she eats. Like, this is a regular meal. I never feed her just dry. Or I never feed her just this wet ass uh, uh, ground. I don't do it like that. I always mix it. So, like I said, with my mixture. Now, this is a bigger bowl than what I'm used to because I've noticed you, she always be hungry through the day. So now I'm starting to, you know, uh, put a little bit more. But first, it was only like two cups. It was only two cups of, uh, of the kibble, and it was still that one egg, and it was still one third of this uh, pedigree. So one third of that, that'd be about one third of a pound. This is this, this pedigree is a pound. So right now it's still the one egg. I'm mixing it up, mixing it up, making sure it's all you know evenly in there. Like I said, I don't expect her to waste no time on this shit. Cause she been hungry all day. And how you do that? See, dogs, they be wanting to eat in the morning. You know what I mean? So, they be wanting to eat when they first wake up. But what I do is, I, I, I give them that food at the end of the night. And once you, once you keep them, you know, once you, once you got them, you know, all during the day. And they like wondering where they meal at. Like at the end of the day, they gonna go ham when they finally get their meal. So that's what I do, you know. And all through the day, I just give her like little treats and snacks and stuff like she can eat, but she ain't gonna eat that meal until the end of the day. So this is what it looked like. Like I said, it's all mixed in. It's one third of the pedigree. And you could do it differently. If you wanna do just half of the pedigree, and you want to do, uh, and then you want to do one, you know, you can two cups of the, of the, of the kibble. It really don't matter what kibble you get. I mean, as long as you're mixing this stuff good, it really don't matter if you're getting the all protein kibble or, right now she's still on, uh, right now she's still on that little, uh, puppy child. I know it ain't the, probably the best. I know y'all probably going to suggest me something that costs like $20. But right now she's still on the puppy path because right because she's still a puppy. And if y'all y'all don't know, man, I mean a, a pit bull, man, it takes about two years to fully grow. Now sometimes y'all y'all can cut and stunt that growth if y'all mating that pit bull within those two years, especially if it's a girl. If y'all got her, you know, having babies and stuff within that two years, she might not grow no more. So. Give a pit bull about two years to fully grow. And like I said, I expect her to be closer to that 100 pound mark. This is a gray nose. I mean, this is a blue nose, whatever, gray. However you want to say it. And she eats. Like I said, she's going to tear this up. She's been waiting all day. Like I said, the best way to feed your pit is at night. Let them go through the whole day hungry. And then, 
you know, you can still feed her all day because I feed her all day. You see these little, these little O'Roy's and, and Munchy Bones and, and you see the little bone, big bone. I just got her there like two days ago. So yeah, all during the day, she get a little snack. She ain't really going to be deprived of, of a lot of food. But what I want to do is I want her, I don't want her to eat all her food at the beginning of the day. And then at the end of the day, she like, she have to go through her sleep. So that's too long. That's too long. Just for her to eat it all at the beginning of the day, then gotta wait all day, sleep, and then wake back up and then get another meal. Nah, that's too long. So what I do is I wait till the end of the day and I let her sleep on that. And then at the end of the day, she can go to sleep. And when she wake up, she probably gonna have to boo-boo and whatever else. So I keep it timed out, you know what I mean? That way, when when I wake up in the morning, she can just go ahead and boo-boo. So right now, we just go. I got this uh, time wrong. Right now, I've just been talking and, and blah blah for like for like uh, six minutes. But we gonna just count how much. This is a big bowl, though. You know what I mean? This is this is a hefty size bowl. We just gonna see how much she eat. Within this six minutes. Now, like I said, I, I expect this whole bowl to be gone. Right now, she's probably about 60 pounds. But I expect this whole bowl to be gone. And I, I just increase our doses. You know what I mean? This video right now is just an increase of the doses. So we're going to stop right here. We're going to shut back the end cage we're gonna let her go through you see that little bone right there she could easily have that but she she hungry that's what she waiting on what well, i used to have now one thing about pit bull they gonna want to chew up everything i used to have this right here because you can see like the little rail or something when she first got it, she didn't even want to sit down or nothing. She still don't like the rails, but it takes time to get used to. Dogs got to get used to them, and they wild animals, man. So, I mean, you got to train them. You got to you got to get them used to, to sleeping on that stuff, man. So, the first night, I bought this big, I bought this utility mat at Walmart. It cost about $15. So, I put it in there, and every day I kept, every day I got home, I kept seeing these little black stuff right here. I had to clean all this stuff up because she was just eating up that mat. You can see she ate it up. But now I got it so, so I can wipe my feet when, uh, whenever she go outside and we come back in. And it's snow outside right now too, so it's a good mat to wipe your feet. <sighs> you know, you see that it's all this snow outside. Like I said, I don't expect her to spend much time on that food. If y'all want y'all dog to get big, fat, I'm like my dog is overweight. She definitely overweight. She's sick, like I said. She's six months old. When she was four months old, I think she was probably about 40, 50 pounds. Cause she's six months old. I don't expect her to spend no much time. Like right now, she probably been at that at that food for about two minutes. You've probably been at that food for two, for two minutes. We're gonna give y'all a little short break. You see that I'll be I'll be getting down with that MPC touch right there. But uh we're just gonna give y'all a little break right now. We just gonna uh sip on one of these fireballs real quick. I mean this is nice right here. I, you can just down one of these, they taste just like the candy fireball. You can just down one. So like two or three of them should get you good, good and bud. You drink four of them, you should be all right for the rest of the night. You know what I mean? So two or three of them should get you good and buzz. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit more because I said it's gonna take about five minutes for her to finish that whole little rack. But she don't need nothing in there. So right now, I'm gonna pop open one of these fireballs. Usually when I drink fireball, I don't gotta drink nothing else to chase. But me, I always got a little, 
Coke when I drink. So, uh, with the whiskey, with the dark liquor, I drink the Coke. And with the vodka, I drink the 7-Up. Well, where's that damn Coke at? Okay, so we got some Fago. You know, the cola, cola flavor. So we got my drinking cup, Coca-Cola drinking cup. I'm going to show y'all in a minute how much that, uh, how much of that food that dog eat. This is how you get y'all, 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 uh, pit bulls thick. This is how you get y'all pit bulls thick. Some reason when you when I'm recording on this camera, I can't go back and forth to the face view. To I'm gonna show y'all how to get y'all thick pit bulls out here thick. Like I said, my dog is overweight. You see right there, and this is this dog is probably the dog was probably was born in 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 June. Might have been born before June. I don't, I'm not really for sure. I don't, I don't remember the exact date, but it's December now. It's the middle of December. It's December now, so you see right now the dog is a big dog. No, you can't see the ribs or nothing. You, I mean, like you can barely see see anything. It's, it's uh, I gave him that 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 bone within the six minute mark. I don't know where it was within the six. So, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, it's about six minutes left. I mean, we, we already went past about, we about on six minutes. This, uh, this little YouTube been sponsored by this fireball. You know, it might be a little girl drink, but for real, for real, man. This stuff, this, this stuff is nice. I mean, I'm a vodka drinker. I'm a clear drinker, and when I started sipping on this Fireball, man, it, it, it's been nice, you know what I mean? It's been nice. So you can buy them in these little six packs. And let's look, we'll see what we got left. Six minutes. Six minutes. That stuff is all gone. It's all gone. Like I said, this is how you get your dog thick. And that was the increase of the meal. That was the increase of the meal. It's how you get your pit bull big and fat. That was two pounds, two pounds of food. Like I said, it was uh, four cups of kibble. So how I measure that, she get two scoops of this, two scoops of this, and this is a, uh, let me see how much that is. Let's say one pound, let's say 16, is that 16? I can't even read that. I don't know. But she get two scoops of this, One third or more of this, and one egg, and uh, that probably weigh about two pounds. Like I said, it's gone. Six minutes. She can lay back down, or she can play with her. Now she want to play with that because you know she she didn't want to eat that before. She she really was hungry, so she ain't just want to eat that. She wanted some real food. Big girl. She's six month old, or five and a half, or however many months you want to go. She's a big girl. That's it. You can't, you can't see the ribs or nothing. She's been a big girl. You can't see the ribs. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Alright, this is the end of my video. 
Y'all get y'all dogs big. Better help with me. Like I said, they gonna nail that food.